everybody, Draconic Games here with the third episode of The Walking Dead. Um, this episode, well, for part one, there's a special guest, but for part two and on, if you've if um and um and if you haven't if you have seen uh, episode one already, uh, you know who it is. <laughs> but we have a special guest this episode, and. Uh, yeah, well, anyways, in this uh, this episode was very, very intense. I, I, it started out, uh, in, um, almost as intense as, uh, uh, last time, as last episode, and, uh, that made the first, uh, first ten minutes of it interesting, and it just went on from there. I was, we were complete, we were completely, uh, blown out by this episode. It was, it was an amazing one, but we also, um, had a lot of sad moments in there. We meet new people, um, and as usual, lose a few people, and this one is, it's, uh, really controversial. Not really. Ah, what? A, controversial? No, it's. Re it's really. Uh, it's really. It can. Some. Some. Uh, things are just messed up in this chapter. Or not chap chapter episode of uh, The Walking Dead, and uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah. Enjoy whatever part this is of The Walking Dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. <laughs> good. Well, good. Good? <laughs> Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. <laughs> me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Hmm. Uh, killing is bad. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. Right. And to protect me. It doesn't it. make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with some. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? <laughs> uh, yeah, Lily gave them to me. I for really sleeping. like the detail yeah. of how, yeah. like, all set. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, but any of the girls that watch this video will. An older hair tie. <laughs> Does it look dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute. And An older hair tie with split where the uh, the fabric covers the elastic and they showed that with that little white piece. She looks cute, by the way. Yeah. Let's talk to her because there were a few more things to talk to. Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. Uh, me too. Are you serious? Yeah, I have to do hey, this every Clint? time. Hi. Hi. What a oh. crappy day. The crappiest. <laughs> three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Jack? I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. Wrong button. Oh well. I'm still asking about Chuck. Okay. Hey, Clint. Hi. 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 Sounds like What do you think boy. about Chuck? I don't know. Oh, God. Me neither. Doesn't it though? Okay yeah, it does. Does. Hi. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. 
That would be good. So you picked I up the bottle, right? Yeah. yeah. Didn't right. Chuck say he wanted some alcohol? Yeah. And you know what? Uh, what? I bet you that'll make Kenny feel better. Probably. So maybe see if you can give it to Kenny. Because I think he needs it more. He won't let me. Cause maybe talk to him about it. No. Okay. I'll uh, talk to you later, Kenny. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Mm, no. It's up to you. We got a no, child. I'm fine. Suit yourself. Got a child here. Don't need all of the adults getting drunk. Because I'm pretty sure you're right mm. about Kenny. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You yeah. know. Yeah. Uh huh. Will do. Hey. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Taking a walk to ease troubled minds. Yeah. I love how he looks around like he's stealing it. Thanks. Alright. Can we talk to Ben? Yeah, we did. It was me. What? Huh? What was you? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Are you what? serious? Make him no. Make him feel good. May, try and make him feel better. Uh, why? Why? What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Okay. Let's see if I can talk to him. Again. You still want to talk to me? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What so are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? I, I called uh, Couldn't be back there anymore. Do remember, oh, yeah, I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. No. I guess not. <laughs> serious. Dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Was Carly related to them? No, I don't think so. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Otherwise, it would have been when they first saw each other, it was going to be like, Ben! They don't know what to expect. Darling. He said he could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, either that or they would have uh, had a strong, you know? either way they would have a strong reaction. So reaction. from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Uh, we should look for your parents. Yeah. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. If they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah. I think I heard them die. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. I'm not 
of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Okay. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure, sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody. Oh god. Do you think Clem's parents are alive? No. Down in the comments, guys. Say whether or not you think uh, Clem's parents are alive. What do you think it is? Walkers? Maybe. Oh, oh wow. PSVC or PSBF. PSBF. Isn't that uh Fuck fuck fuel fuck, fuck, fuck It looks like fuck. a fuel tank. Yeah. Petroleum. Yeah. Petroleum. Petroleum. You can walk. That's fucking stupid, Ben. <laughs> I'm just saying. I ain't got oh, much experience oh with y'all fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. <laughs> milk? Or gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that, you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Nope, we're friendly. Define trouble. No. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse, and it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, ha I'm happy he's got my back, but Leads still, up to that the music is what I'm going off of. It sounds. If I come just up fine. there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Yeah. <laughs> See. A group yeah. of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when? Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Uh, we could use some good people. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies. And, yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit. God damn, you guys have a kid. I'm a little what strong reaction, but he's probably... Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Oh, yeah. shit. What's your name? Clementine. Language. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's no. that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? Complicated. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Day one, on my way to jail. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Okay, yeah. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? Today. What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Open up that road work truck. Okay. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago.
Wait. Is that grabbed something. Tape? Yeah. That's about the only useful thing in here. <laughs> okay. Just to uh, throw the stop sign at it. That's what I figured. Yeah, tape it so it can, it can get more sturdy. Tape what? Tape it together. Okay. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Um, let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Hey, wait, what's in that crate? Oh, no. It's empty. Oh, it's a generator. Yeah, uh, it's empty. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, we could use some good people. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for cherries. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Scooby talk to be dog to be dee dog. See if I let them talk. Oh. Yeah. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. I guess it's good Fred's got a woman to talk to. Yeah. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got <laughs> a little more than he bought before, huh? <laughs> Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. He is a history teacher. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Ooh, uh -huh. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask me. He likes to break things. You're probably gonna have to, like, hit that pin out with something. Remember how we did the train? Yeah. Probably this time we can't drive it without having a chance of falling off. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it, jackass. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. <clears throat> How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. <laughs> you like Civil War history, huh? Fuck yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way, but if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, there should be some cool things to see. Excellent. Don't tell Krista, though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. You got it. How long since you've been home? <laughs> like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. 
Her cat is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Talk to you later. The whole thing's pretty simple, really. How could it not be? Teaching them anything? I'm trying to. Alright. The last thing I can really think of because we looked up there and I'm pretty sure we got everything. Go to the station. Yeah, the last thing we can think I can think of is the station now. Maybe I should check out that train station. And welcome back, everybody. How did you enjoy that part of The Walking Dead? Uh, um, this... Uh, whatever part this is, it, I don't know, because this is going out for every part on the, uh... Um, on the episode... But some of these episodes, it can be very hard to take in. Some, uh, some is just very easy to take in. So, um, yes. This one, th as I said in the beginning of the episode, th um, this episode was really fun to record, but also difficult, fun and difficult to record. Difficult as in emotional. And, uh, um, and fun as in, like, it, it went through a lot of themes that, sorry, we're in dark places, but, um, but also, also good, good themes as well. Um, see, it brought out the good in some people, the bad in others, and, uh. Yeah, and if you couldn't tell throughout the, um, part um, of this episode, or throughout the entire episode, uh, I was sick while recording this, and, uh, Nick still decided to come over to record, uh, and I, and I, yeah, and the reason why you don't see, uh, Nick in the, uh, with me right now is because he came over just to record that. He could, he tried to stay the night and record again. But, uh, he couldn't, his dad wouldn't let him, so, yeah. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of The Walking, uh, this part of The Walking Dead. If you have, hit that like button down below to show your support for the channel, because it would be amazing if you did. Yeah, as I said, I hope you have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, become your kind of gamers. Yeah, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. See ya!